So today's video, as I'm sure you could tell from the title and the intro, is going to be a lip swatch and review over the new NYX Lip Lingerie Lipsticks. Um, I first saw these on NYX's uh, Snapchat. They were doing kind of a reveal of new products and things that were coming out. And so they did like swatches of all of the new ones. And I knew instantly I needed to get my hands on these. I was so in love with the packaging and the colors. I was just like, oh, I need to get them. So I literally went that day onto the website. I ordered five different ones. Um, there is a shade of 12. They are advertised as kind of being um, more neutral, kind of browns, nudes, kind of that neutral um, shade range. Um, I've kind of noticed from the packaging and the shades available, it's very reminiscent of um, kind of the Kylie lip kits that came out. Obviously not the same formula and definitely not the same price, but um, that's what I think they were trying to go for. Um, so anyways, I want to talk about the five shades that I picked up. Um, I only picked up five just to first test out the formula. I tried to get colors that were very different. Um, but what I've noticed is that a lot of these colors, at least online when you're looking at them, look so similar that it was hard to distinguish how different each of them were. So I was kind of going off of, I had screenshotted some of the um, swatches from the um, Snapchat um, swatch thing. Um, so I picked out five different shades just as I figured a good kind of starter. Um, each of them kind of different colors to test out as far as dark colors versus nude colors, um, formulation, and shade, consistency, all that jazz. So first off, I just want to say this is the cutest thing to send it in. This is when I opened the box. They were all clustered together in this little pouch bag. And I just think that is so cute. I know some people will probably like be weird about the name because it's lingerie, but I honestly think this is so unique and so cute of NYX to do because typically, I mean, at least when a lot of products come out, you're just kind of like, oh, it's just, you know, a liquid lip or whatever. But the fact that they were very specific in the naming of these and the packaging and the layout, I just thought it was adorable. I am a huge sucker for packaging, honestly, like... 90% of my buys are, is the <laughs> package cute. So I picked up five different shades. Now these retail, I believe, for $7 a piece, which is a pretty good deal. Um, it's very comparable to the price of their liquid suede lipsticks. Um, so it's very much kind of within the NYX um, price range. So this is all five of them here, and I'm gonna go through, and I did do the lip swatches, which you saw earlier, but I'm also swatch them on my hand and talk about kind of each shade. Um, and I'm gonna try and do it in the same order. I had to write down what order I did them in, so let me pull up my notes. The first shade we talk about is Lace Detail. Now this is the lightest, I believe, of the shades that I got. First off, okay, continue about packaging. Um, it, it has that flat kind of dofa applicator that I feel like NYX is a little bit more famous for is the fact that they don't round out their applicators. They have it completely flat, which is nice because you get an even disbursement of product on both sides. That way you're not having to constantly dip back in to get product. So lace detail is the lightest of the colors I got. I would describe this as very much of a peachy nude. Um, a very light peachy nude. Now on me, it works great because I am fair. Um, and I didn't think that it washed me out. It didn't turn too apricot -y. It was just a very nice, pretty, natural nude, which is really hard for someone with my skin tone to find, I found. Either they end up looking super gray, they turn really pink, or they turn like apricot peach. And so this was a really nice kind of neutral nude. I will say about the formulation, I did have to reapply several times in order to get a nice opaque kind of finish. It is probably a little bit more sheer and you do have to build up the color a little bit. To me, that's not a huge bad thing. I don't mind having to go in and reapply lipsticks to get vibrancy and opacity. For some people, that's a huge turnoff. They want to be able to put one swipe and be done. To me, I'm okay with building it up just because to me, having built it up, it doesn't turn flaky, it doesn't bunch up or get crusty or anything like that. 
The next shade I'm going to talk about is called Push Up. And this is a little bit deeper than Lace Detail. But I would still consider it in the same kind of peachy nude family. I would say this one is probably what you would get if you went a shade up from Lace Detail. It's a little bit more peach, a little bit more vibrant. Same with Lace Detail though. I did have to go back and reapply a couple of times in order to get um, a really opaque kind of finish. Again, not a big deal for me. But for some people it is a big deal. I liked it just because it adds a little bit more warmth to the skin. It was a little bit on me more peachy than nude. So you could definitely see it had a little bit more color to me. Which to me wasn't a big deal. But I do really like that kind of shade family. Alright so the third one I have is Bedtime Flirt. And this one is definitely more of the pinky nude family. It pulls a lot more pink than peach. It's this one right here. This one I think was probably my favorite out of the five shades I got just because of the shade. It's extremely natural looking. Um, but I just, I don't know why I love it just because it's a little bit deeper but it's not super dark. It's not like, you know, I don't know. I feel like sometimes when you get into the deeper nudes, especially when you're fair, they end up turning a little bit brown versus this. I think it still maintained kind of that pinky, um, almost mauve tone without turning like super mauve or super brown. So I really, I think that one's my favorite shade out of all of them. The fourth one I have is Ruffle Trim. And this I would say is probably more of a brownie... Has a little bit of peach, but not much. It starts getting more into the kind of chestnut family. Um, again, not super dark. Um, I did notice for Ruffle Trim and Bedtime Flirt that I did not necessarily have to go back in and reapply with them. Um, I did anyways, just because I really like high pigmentation. But for those two, I did not have to... It was pretty opaque after one swipe. I wasn't having to, like the other two, where I definitely, if I wanted it to be more opaque, would have to go back in. These two is not necessary. I just did it because I like having a super pigmented um, lipstick. But I would say this is definitely more of a chestnut rose. Um, this on the lips, it reminds me a whole lot of Kat Von D's Lolita 2, um, where it has a little bit more of that kind of terracotta orange little bit of an undertone um versus I feel like um what was that other one bedtime flirt whereas I feel like bedtime flirt has a little bit more of a brown undertone so the last one that I got and this is the one that I'm actually wearing on my lips right now is exotic and I would describe this as like a merlot wine shade honestly now out of all of them I feel like this one was the most liquidy and therefore it was the most sheer when applied and it was a little bit messier to apply. I don't know why none of the other ones came out liquidy but for whatever reason this one did. It's this shade right here. I honestly to me it looks like a Merlot kind of wine stained um, shade where it has more of kind of that red undertone but it's not like it's not a red obviously but it has some sort of kind of I don't know, it has some sort of red berry kind of under texture, but mixed with the brown, it's more muted. I think it's really, really pretty. I actually really like it a lot, but out of all five of them, this one was the hardest to apply just because when I put it on, it was so liquidy that it was so sheer um, and I had to, you know, build it up a little bit. Now overall for all of them formula wise, these are definitely what seems to be the new trend. Um, which is having like a velvet liquid lipstick, more of that kind of mousse-like texture. I would say Exotic was the only one that it applied more like a liquid than a mousse. The other ones all have that kind of moussey consistency and texture, which to me, some people really hate. Um, it reminds me so much, I feel like NYX was kind of the first to pioneer that with the soft matte lip creams. These are definitely not as drying not that I find the soft matte lip creams drying, but compared to the texture of that, they are not as drying and they're definitely not as matte. They do on the lips look matte, but honestly, they feel like nothing. They do have that slight kind of tackiness 
very much like the liquid suede, but to me they're not as drying. They're super comfortable. Honestly, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips. I even, with this one, Exotic, just ate, and honestly, other than a little bit on the inside, which naturally comes off when you eat and drink, it mean the lipstick stayed on pretty like much intact. I didn't have to reapply or anything, and I ate pretty vigorously just to test out the strength of the um, and longevity of the lipstick. Um, so overall, I definitely want to get more shades. I think these are fantastic. I love the packaging. I love the shades. These to me are so innovative, especially if you're someone like me who has a really hard time finding good nude shades, which I think are something that are so hard to come by in the makeup world. I don't know why. I mean, especially when you're fair, like everything just turns on you. Like you can never just find like a basic neutral nude and be like, oh, I'm good to go. It's either too pink, too peach, to brown, to gray, it's always too much of something, but I love all of these shades. Honestly, I think I'm gonna get a whole lot of wear out of them. Um, I think they're gorgeous, they're so natural. Again, all of these, there wasn't a single one that I was like, this is uncomfortable, I don't like the shade, anything like that. I loved every single one of these shades and I loved the way all of these felt. So if you can get past the opacity problem and having to reapply, um, honestly, I think these make a great um, liquid lipstick. If you're someone who's had a hard time with lipsticks being too drying or too cakey, being too crusty or anything like that on the lips, then I would definitely go for something like these. Um, just because I think they are, formula wise, they feel great and I think that everybody would find a good shade. So definitely hoping to purchase more because I'm really in love with these. I think they are awesome.